Hey y'all, this is Cyber Eagle and welcome to another mod sh Minecraft Mod Showcase. Once again for 1.7.10. I know I do a lot of videos, mods from that, but that's mainly because they're the primary ones that... Why well, that's the primary version a lot of modders work on. Alright, so, I tried doing this one yesterday. Didn't work too well. Well, actually, kind of did, but I didn't like my commentary. Anyway, um... Today we're going to be actually looking at two mods just because they go well together. And I believe if any of y'all are Doctor Who fans, you'll enjoy this. One that's the Tard I'll start with the TARDIS mod. Um, so most of the things are craftable, as you can see. Um, I should mention ahead of time, this is a really deep mod. So, I'm just going to cover what I can, especially since I'll be covering two of the other, being the Daleks mod. Alright, start out, uh, you'll need your own uh, TARDIS key. And what you can do is, uh, right click, key, there we go, sets it as owner. Now, click, and... That should have worked. Okay, I had this working, yes. Oh, no. I wonder. Okay, you know what? If my suspicions are correct, let me go ahead and show off um, the Daleks mod first because I think they may be interfering with each other but the TARDIS mod is so cool I gotta show that one to y'all too. Um, I'll just pick a few different uh, mobs to grab. Looks like there is a ton of Daleks. I'll just grab a couple of them. Uh, that one and this one, and actually I will go ahead and grab one more, and, I my mommy. oh wait, I must have it on, if I do have it on peaceful. I my mommy. I my okay, mommy. The empty child. I should mention, I don't really watch Doctor Who myself, outside of a few clips on YouTube. I'm my mommy. The Cyberman. So, I don't really know about a lot of these. I'm my mommy. I'm assuming any Doctor Who fans watching this will realize. I'm my mommy. We'll be able to appreciate them. Uh, let me I'm see. I'm my mommy. Uh, we'll I'm my mommy. True. Oh. Oh, I'll take my chances. I'm my mommy. Probably gonna regret this, but wouldn't be a bad idea to see just how much damage I'm they my do. Okay, the Cyberman doesn't do much. I'm my mommy. Okay, actually, none of these really do too much damage. I'm my mommy. All right. I'm my mommy. Uh, oh, it's a really little thing. I'm my now for the Daleks, there's a movie. And I Whoa. hate Daleks cannot mommy. be defeated. I that coming. They will be exterminated. Huh. Cool. Okay, now let's see just how much damage. I'm my Whoa. Them. Okay, that's a little bit. Let me get a little ways away from here before I do anything else. All right, now let me also make another attempt to access the TARDIS from the actual TARDIS mod because I really do. I, I've tried the Dalek mod before and I really like this one better. Nothing against, nothing against the other one. Okay, apparently they ain't gonna have, okay, I'll just uh, finish showing off the Dalek mod. 
Oh yeah, you've also got a bunch of uh, clothing items in this one. Uh, like the... I guess I'll just uh, grab a few things and kind of mix and match to show off some of it. You know, actually that kind of works. Huh. Uh, let's see what else. There's also a number of gadgets like several different sonic screwdrivers, which of course is the uh, the doctor's weapon. There's also a time vortex manipulator, which whoa. Okay, this is really cool. Apparently, if you right-click with the Time Vortex Manipulator, you can go to different versions of Minecraft. Here's how you'll craft You'll need a couple iron ingots, a diamond, six pieces of leather, so it's actually not that expensive. Okay, I just gotta try this. Let's see what happens if I do this. If so, I'm really gonna... If this works right, I'm really gonna be impressed. Whoa. I'm stuck. Finally, whoa. Okay, this is different. I didn't play Minecraft back in these days, but I'm assuming this is what it looked like. Wow. Okay, let me see if I can go back to where I was. Oh, great. I'm pretty sure... Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe improvising for the rest of this since I think it took me to the wrong place. <coughs> Alright, anyway. Um, let's see here. It's also a number of TARDIS blocks here. By the way, I'll leave a. Uh, Info about... Okay, yeah, it looks like you have to build your own TARDIS with this one. Uh, do, do, do. There's also a number of... Jump blocks... Gravestones... Cool! Holiday on some Christmas stuff, Seventh Doctor's Umbrella... Oh, it looks like there's also some food! jelly babies which from what I understand are like the are basically uh, what the British have instead of uh, jelly beans in which the fourth doctor I think it was um, please don't last me on that any uh, Doctor Who fans that are watching like I said I don't really watch it much myself, uh, or I've barely seen any of it. So, but I'm doing my best from memory. So please bear with me on that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, looks like you make jelly babies with sugar, paper, and wheat. Oop, sorry. Uh, is there any? Oh, there's also. Oh, a couple of uh, updates, some building blocks. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. It will end up being a little bit long just because I want to uh, show off the TARDIS mod as well. And so I guess I'm just going to have them back to back since they do kind of go together. I just apparently can't do them both at the same time. So be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back and I just tested out the TARDIS key 
It sure, it indeed does work correctly. E at this point. With it, set the owner first, then just right click the ground nearby like I just did, and you'll get your own TARDIS. You can go in, and it uses a similar approach to the dimensional blocks mod, allowing you to, uh, or allowing it to be much bigger on the inside than the outside. Now, I'm going to show one of the features that when I tried to get this working right last night I thought was really cool and hope that it'll work correctly this time. Alright. Got to insert Sonic Screwdriver in there, take it out, hold shift and right and then right click, set it to schematic mode for the room you just set over here. And you can go to one of these doors, right click the middle, and there's your new room. And let's say you want something a little bit different. That one's supposed to be Mid Farm. Let's say you want to add a library. Of course, it's still set on that. You can go over here, right click. Here's your library, which conveniently also gives you a really cool manual that, oops, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I'm still not really too sure how they managed to do this in Minecraft. Yeah, just ignore the minor glitch with it caused by when I accidentally hit it. Another thing you can do actually is fly the TARDIS. I tried, when I was attempting to record this last night, I tried to figure it out. But to be totally honest, the mod is extremely complicated. Um, there's a uh, separate website with a, according to the author, slightly outdated manual. But nevertheless, it is a manual for it. And so I'll probably refer you to that because if I was going to go through this in depth, there's no way I would have time to finish. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with this mod, including... Oh, first let me mention, y'all saw how big it was on the inside. Still the same police call box on the outside, of course. Several other things you can do. You can use this temporal lab to create things, including the Contron crystal necessary for making a TARDIS key. Um, or somebody with a TARDIS can also generate it uh, using that lab. You'll need six iron ingots, a gla block of glass, a gold ingot, and some a piece of redstone. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades here. To be honest, I tried last night to go through everything and I figured out it, I'm not 100% sure that I can find everything, but there's a lot of different blocks you can use. It looks like you can add gravity lifts. Oh, and um, these chrono steel ingots. Oh, first let me mention the Contron crystals. Uh, do spawn in dungeon chests, and so you'll have to do some exploring if you want to stay in survival, work with it. I didn't see information on how Dalekanium spawns, but I'm pretty sure, well, Dalekanium and Chrono Steel. Dalekanium, I'm assuming, actually I'll say for all this, I'm assuming it probably spawns as some kind of ore or something. And there's some kind of thing called the TARDIS. Oh, cool. So if you build this TARDIS recaller using four iron ingots, a piece of lapis, and four bone meal, you can go wherever you want. I'll just head over here. Set TARDIS. Okay, that's 
for anybody planning to explore, especially in survival, that's a must have. Let's see what else. There's cable interfaces. There's there's a ton of stuff in here. Um, like I said, honestly, this video actually would end up very likely way too long if I try to go through everything. But, uh... Now, I admit, I'm not really too sure how the flight works. That part was extremely confusing to me. So, like I said, my best recommendation would be for y'all to figure out... Oh, I will mention this, too. If you shift-click till it says dismantle... You can... right click this block here and then sneak right click and that room and E rooms connected to it will be removed and that's something you can't get back alrighty and I just uh, built a new library uh, let's see here Okay, yeah, you either need to power the lab. Oh, yeah, it has the to make chrono steel, you got to expose iron to Artron Energy and the Time Vortex. So you got to actually fly the TARDIS to do it. And I, I want to apologize to y'all. I never could figure out how to get it to fly. Um, but I really did want to get this video up. And I will be actually trying to work more with it to see what I can do. But otherwise. Um, that's pretty much it. I definitely encourage y'all to mess with these. The links to both this mod, the, and the Daleks mod, and of course the extra website manual for this, for the TARDIS mod I mentioned, will all be in the description below. And, uh, of course, they're all Minecraft 1.7.10, and both do require Minecraft Forge. I've put a few links down below in the past, so just check for one of them if you don't know how to install it. And that's pretty much it. So, and, um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like, like it, please make sure to leave me a like or thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated if you would do so. That way you can make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Um, especially when I'm having weeks like the past week or two where my upload schedule is a little irregular and if you have suggestions on something else you want to see me try in Minecraft um, definitely leave a comment and I'll look into it thanks and have a great day